right, grades don't matter. Once you get out of here, the, what grade you got doesn't matter. It's what you know. And so, what part are we going to put in first? The base. The whole. Yeah, the base, right? Part Everyone has move. a base on their thing. That's probably a good one to put in first. So, pick that, and I'll set it down. You notice it didn't come in just fixed to begin with? Big inventor, you put in the first one in, and it automatically comes in. That's the origin. That. Here, you still have to click somewhere to put it, but once you put it in, it's fixed. And it has a little F right here showing that it's fixed. Um, but if I look at that. What's that little hat next to it? What's that little hat? And the graduation hat? Yeah. As um, you completed it, I don't know. Graduating to the next part. Counter scene she's supposed to be on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So I messed up when I modeled this. I should have modeled it with the counter scenes on the bottom. So I could go back into my sketch and redo it, and, or I can flip this part over. If I, if I put it in wrong and I need to flip it, I'm just going to right click and tell it to float. So now I can move this around. Now I'm going to need to constrain this back to my planes. If you want to take the SolidWorks exam, they make you put it in, and it tells you that like the UCS is like that, and then so you have to reconstrain it anyways. <laughs> so if you want to do the uh, the, certif the SolidWorks certification exam, you you're going to have to know how to float it and then flip it over and reconstrain it the right way. Did you just do the exam? No, I did that a while ago. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just going to make. Pick up the face, turn off your phones. Pick my face here. Phones off, please. Now I'll go to the next one. And that one I really want to flip. Did you go through those steps again? Slow this one again. Just take it out. Insert my base. Drop it. Right click. Float. Back move it around. So go to me. So really, I should probably do this top. So I'm going to put that, that one, one to the and the top plane. And right here, so here it's telling me how, how do I want to constrain. Uh -huh. I can tell it to be a distance away, or coincident. And this one is the flush or the mate aligned. Do I want it to go the same direction or opposite directions? I want it to be opposite directions. Flush but now it's, no, it's right. Well, then but I've only put that one constraint on, so I'm going okay. to put it. Accept that one. Now to the side, the side. Oh, okay. And then that, and that. Oh, you have to constrain all. Okay. All three, all three you have sides. To constrain all three planes. Okay. Or else it'll be able to move somehow. Okay. So you have to constrain it to all three: the front, the top, and the right. Okay. And we'll just X that. And we're done. So that's fully constrained now. And actually, kind of does matter um, the. Uh, uh, I guess which one you select first because it can if you do top or if you do like right, it's not that flip right. But watch what happens. If I just tell it I want to go the other way, it's going to tell me that it, it had found a problem with the other one because I made the other one flush and it's, it updated it for me. 
Oh, okay. See, sorry that it, it reversed it. Because it, it can still work on that other mate, mm -hmm. but it just, it's just flipping it from facing the same direction to facing opposite directions. So it, just, it doesn't matter which order you yeah. put it in, right? Okay. Because it'll do it, but if you kind of think about which way you want to do it, flip. If you need to move something, do that one first, mm -hmm. and then do the other ones. So I've got that in now. So now I can enter components, put in my next piece. So in that column. So that's going to go on top there and these upper holes are going to be facing that way. So these holes need to face the other direction. So I'm going to do a mate. See your hole. That hole there. And that hole there. And I'll accept it. Then I'll make that hole. And I'll spin it around. And that hole. And it flipped it. Right? Accept it. Then that surface. And that surface. Oh, when you make the holes, it's not going to go straight to the hole. No. Because it, it doesn't, they're not in the inventor we have the insert command where it can strain yeah. it mm -hmm. concentric and in the Z value. Here it, it only does concentric. It, it, there's no, it's, it's one thing at a time. You can't do that where it does two different things. That's cool. Well, it looks better. better. Yeah. Because once you made it, it still stays the same. So, then you don't right, inventor, you had some problems sometimes if you, didn't, if you did too many inserts on things. Yeah. Like on this one, you want to insert that one, but then only strain the axle on that one. Mm -hmm. Here, you, you don't have that. You don't have that problem of actually overdoing it. Okay. So put that one in, then I can work on the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. I can still do subassemblies also, so I can do new assembly. So like that hub. Here, got this hub in the plate. Mm -hmm. Then you put in, insert. That's just a weird design. So I can tell it to insert. Can I line up the axis on these two parts? Can I just go? I make those two like that? No, because it's so neat that you push one side. No, because they're at an angle, right? Yeah. They're not going to line up. What I can do, though, is I can do that face, that point, right? But should I maybe turn that to go the same direction? So I can pick. And the points you already put that on there. That plane and that plane, right? So would you, would you pick pick the two planes and then? Uh huh. I picked the two planes that lined up there. Remember, you can constrain it based on points, planes, whatever you need to within the objects. It doesn't have to be a face. But it still stays. It still stays uh, like active, even if you open the other one. The, I, I did straight on one, and then I didn't open anything. I just wanted to use those two planes to line up with each other. So now you can put your angle on it, right? Until the half hour over.
at this part. I want to see where these points are. the right plane. So I'm going to go back in. Oh, there it is. Now it's showing up. So when I constrained it, I constrained it the wrong way. It should have been going that way. So I'll just go back to that. And these two be that and that lined up. There you go. Now you can see that stain on it. And then I can do make that to point two. See, point one. Wait, point two is at the top. Point one. Plus B. So move up and down though. So now I can constrain the axis to the center there and tell it. this part, the outer part, with the axis of that part. So now it's lined up. You're basically using and whatever. I should have done on this side, right? Yeah. So how am I going to fix that? So we need to go through and change some of these stuff, right? right? I can leave that one. This one, I'll just edit it. And make it take off that face and take off that face, put, the other side put that face, and then take that one, edit it, take off that face, and put that face, and then on that one, edit it, and flip my direction. Does it matter which side the point's on? Yeah, it does. Could it be that your point's on the other side of the plate? So that little bit well, of... Oh, it's just turning it, though. It's not flipping it. So I really should unconstrain it. Is that the name of the park base? So I can save that. So 
back here, I can insert, browse, put in that assembly, right? But I probably don't want to put that in yet. So I'd want to kind of go that and then put it in when I can actually use it. But could you have done that that assembly, that sub assembly on the same page there? Yeah, but this this is going to be fixed together. I want these two pieces to move together. Because here it's being set up and then it's being braised. So it's and so this is going to be a fixed sub assembly. So I want to do it before. Just like the cylinder, it's going to be a fixed sub assembly. Do it before. So anything that's fixed it's in itself isn't going to move do ahead of time. Things that are going to move in your major assembly, leave separate, which is the majority of it. Okay? So kind of on your drawings, if they show subassemblies like that or like that, then do them with subassemblies. Okay? No? Alright. <clears throat> so you have um, until Monday.